Last week we began to think about prayer. We considered how and when we pray and the obstacles which sometimes make praying difficult. This week we're going to look more carefully at the Lord's Prayer, considering how each line may help and encourage us in our own prayer life. We'll start today by exploring the first two lines. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. To aid our preparation for this study, here's a lovely sung version of the prayer. When Jesus taught this prayer to his followers, he was echoing a prayer regularly recited by Jewish people, a prayer known as the Kaddish. Its earliest form began, Exalted and hallowed be his great name in the world that he created according to his will. What made Jesus' version different was that he referred to God as Father. This was a huge shift from the common thinking of Jesus' time. The fatherhood or parenthood of God is not a central theme in the Old Testament. Where father or other references to parental attributes do occur with respect to God, it is almost always by way of analogy, not direct address. So God is like a father. God is similar to a loving mother. Not until Jesus is it at all characteristic to understand God as our own father or our own loving parent and to pray to God as such. But Jesus himself addressed God as his own father and he teaches his disciples to do the same. To Jesus' opponents, speaking to or about God in such a way as our own parent would appear overly familiar and presumptuous. God was up there somewhere, untouchable, unfathomable. Jesus says that's not so. God can be known intimately. So the opening line of the prayer establishes the kind of God to whom prayer is offered. He is personal and can be known personally. That he is our Father establishes the relationship that exists between Jesus' disciples and God, and so between us and God. God is still supreme and holy. He is our Father in heaven, and his name is hallowed or holy. But this is a new and exciting way to approach prayer. Our prayers can be addressed to a holy and revered God, but also a God who knows us and wants us to know him as our Father. <laughs> 